Howdy everyone and welcome back to The More You Grow. We're out here at the farm today and I've got some big announcements for y'all. Some new things are happening here at the farm and life here on The More You Grow is about to change quite a bit. It's gonna grow by two and I want you to meet somebody pretty special to me now. They're back here hanging out. We're about to get eggs. This is my fiance Morgan and daughter Abby. Y'all have not seen them on the channel yet. We've been together for almost a full year now. Almost a full year, but this is the first time they've been on the channel. I want y'all to kind of get to know them a little bit because you're gonna see a lot more of them because we have some even bigger announcements about the farm out here as you'll see in this video. So let's go check out what's going on. We got Abby, the egg collector. What do you think about these eggs, Abby? Um. The white ones always normally do lay, lay the white eggs. So the white chickens lay the white eggs. Yes. That's, that's, that and is the correct. The red chickens that you can probably see over here make the brown eggs. Let's see those eggs. So that's something new that y'all haven't seen on the channel before. We raised some New Hampshire red chickens here and they're laying their first eggs now. So we just are now getting their first eggs. I'm here. So Abby, are you excited to have all the chickens to play with out here? Yes. You, you, did you give them names? Do they have names yet? I've only named you one. What's its name? Abby Chicken. Abby Chicken? <laughs> So, so do we know which one's the Abby chicken? The Abby chicken is the one that has almost the most black, and there is our Abby chicken. This is the Abby chicken. The Abby chicken is a lot like Abby. She, she ran out of the pen and made friends with the other chickens pretty much instantly, whether they liked it or not. <laughs> Yeah, so the, so the leghorn chickens that were in there originally were a little standoffish about the new incoming chicks when we put them in there. Normally we'd be afraid that the older chickens would pick on the new chickens, but they were absolutely terrified of these tiny little like four or five week old chicks and it was absolutely hilarious and there was one that really wanted to make friends with them and we called it the Abby chicken because that is very much Abby's personality and if you want to pet them you have to be very quiet and very You have to walk very slow. Very good tips. Look at that. They like you. They don't do that for me. <laughs> We're just living the farm life over here. Loving them some chickens. My heart. So we have 10 chickens now, guys. We have a little bit of a change out here, used to. We had Coco the black chicken, which unfortunately died this summer for unknown reasons. And we had Paco the big Moran rooster. So we had to get rid of Paco. He was a bit aggressive and he would pretty much try to kill anyone that went in this pen. And I want to make it to where Abby and Morgan back here can come play with the chickens anytime they want. So. Paco had to go. What do you think about their new coop, Abby? So another big change that we did is Morgan, so beautifully, so Morgan so beautifully painted our chicken coop out here for us. She is an excellent painter, much more than I am. So we have a beautiful chicken coop. We're gonna put some tin on it here soon to make it even more beautiful. Okay, so while the ladies enjoy hanging out with the other ladies in here, just the girls and their chickens for a bit, uh, I want to take you around the farm and talk about some of the things that 
are going to be happening here soon that are really exciting. We have some things that didn't pan out that we wanted to, and I just want to update you on what we're going to have happening at the farm here soon. So guys, I want to talk about one of the projects that I had. I had a big project for y'all guys that I was really excited to share, and it took a year to complete, and it was really going to be awesome. What I did is we built a high tunnel with NRCS's cost share program. I learned about it through Arms Family Homestead. Many of y'all probably watched them. And he built a high tunnel with NRCS as well. And I said, I want to do that. We talked all the time. We uh, talked with them and I just kind of got the details of it. And I went through my local NRCS agent and we got it approved. We got the high tunnel in the works. We bought it and got it built but tragedy struck shortly after. This is the current state of the high tunnel. It took us a year to complete and we finished it. And just a few weeks after it was finished and I was ready to show you guys, we had a tornado hit our town in around May. And it's not what I expected. I'm really thankful that we're all okay. No one got hurt in my family. The chickens are all fine. None of the animals are hurt. So I'm very thankful. But it's really kind of sad that we spent so much time and effort to get this done and ended up being in scrap. But don't fear, guys, because I have a really fun plan for this spot. What I want to do is I want to turn this into a big garden. I was going to make it into raised beds inside the high tunnel, but that's just not going to happen, guys. I'm not going to try to rebuild it. We spent too much money and too much time to do that, so we're going to clean this up. And we're going to put a big garden in here. We're going to put trellises around it. It's going to look beautiful, guys. And I can't wait to share that with y'all. There's some other things I want to show y'all up front here in a little bit that we're going to be putting in and I want to talk about. And then I want to talk about the big news that's going to be happening here at the farm that's going to change this channel completely. So let me take you to the other project and we'll go from there. Yeah, let's see it. So our next project we have right here, we've been digging out some holes. Lovely Morgan here has been doing great at that. So this peach tree right here is one that I planted from seed just to see how it would do. So we're going to see what kind of peaches it ends up making once we get it all planted. So, so what are we going to do with all this fruit? You said fruit pies? Preserves. They will stick right next to you. So the real exciting thing too that y'all should know about Morgan is that she's like the best cook in the world <laughs> and I'm going to weigh like 600 pounds and you're going to see me not be able to get around my own farm and make videos anymore <laughs> and she's going to feed me all these wonderful pies and stuff from these fruit trees and maybe maybe she'll start making like baking videos. I think like I think the that British be baking show. <laughs> like the British baking show. Not 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 sponsored or anything. <laughs> Just stickers. <Freebie. laughs> yes, that is one of the problems we're gonna have to deal with out here for a while is we're in stickers. sandy soil and Abby has is be sure to be sure to let us know that there's plenty of stickers out here right now. But I hate stickers. <laughs> um not not many people really like them so yeah. You're, you're probably, you're probably good with that. But we're gonna work on getting rid of stickers. I'll talk to y'all about some of the methods I use to get rid of stickers in large areas. So that'll be some videos in the future. What I want to do right now is tell y'all about the area that we're in right now. So you'll I'm see. Out of here. So you'll see behind me that there's this kind of fence that goes around this whole area, and also behind me, you'll see there's other trees. So in a previous video, you'll remember that I did one on making the food forest out here at the farm. Well, some problems came up with that that I want to tell you all about now because I never got a chance to do an update video. So I haven't given up on the food forest. One of the big problems with it is I put it at the far end of the farm, like way back there. And one of the things I'll always encourage you to do is put trees where you can take care of them. Because I put them so far away that I couldn't water them. I never got a chance to check on them. There's still some alive over there, don't get me wrong. There's still some fruit trees alive. 
over there, but they're going to have to be um, wild fruit trees at this point because there's no way for me to get irrigation back there and I can kind of tend to them a little bit, but they may just be the wild fruit trees at the edge of the farm. So what we're doing though is we've created a new food forest and forest garden area that we're starting here. So I'm not going to do the whole deep mulch method. I'm not going to make all the wood chip food forest. Bermuda grass and rhizominous grass. So it comes up whether you put 10 foot of mulch on it or not. So it didn't really work out too well here. I'm just going to leave it as is. We're going to keep the grass in and we're going to tend to it in that way. We have to go around here and weed eat around these trees right now or to trim them back a little bit. But I'm kind of leaving that there right now because that tall grass, one, will insulate the roots in winter time. I don't leave it like that during the spring and summer, but I let a little bit of grass grow up there to insulate the roots of the tree during the winter. So I plan to turn this whole area right here into a food forest over time. And I can't wait to bring you along for that. Back there in the back, you'll see the tore up pie tunnel. That's where our garden will go. Be over there close to the chickens. And what I want to do now is take you to see, along with Morgan and Abby, possibly, to see the big project that's going to be happening soon to change this whole, this whole channel. So let's go check that out. So the big project we're excited to show y'all. What's going to be back there, Abby? Our house. We're building a house out here at the farm, so pretty soon we'll be living out here around summertime next year. So I'll be able to do a whole lot more videos because I'll be able to be living out here. I'm not going to have to make the trip out to the farm on a regular basis. I'll just live here and we'll have all kinds of adventures together. You'll get to probably see a whole lot more of Abby and Morgan. Like I said, maybe Morgan will do some how-to baking videos and soap making. and. <laughs> She loves to make soap and all the candles and things like that. So um, pretty soon I'll show you all the plans maybe. And once it gets started, I'll keep you all updated and we'll do a lot of update videos on the house. So back here, you'll see that's where the food forest will go right behind me. Food forest? The house will be back here. Yes, we will have a food forest. A forest, all of fruit trees. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. So, there's going to be a lot of new stuff happening, guys. I'm really excited for y'all to be here. Thank you for bearing with me while I kind of got all this planned. Where was I for the last three months? Well, we started <laughs> planning a wedding around August, and our wedding will be next year. We started planning a house, so I kind of got a little busy between that and school, but I really appreciate y'all guys sticking with me and always being supportive. And I can't wait to have all the new videos out here. Plus, I do, I promise this time, have some videos that I'm going to be posting soon because they're already almost edited. So stay tuned for those in the next week or so, and we'll keep going from there. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any more questions about all the stuff we're doing or have any comments that you want Morgan and Abby to see, leave them down in the comments and they'll be sure to see that. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Go check us out on Facebook and Instagram and hit that bell icon for notifications. And until next time, hope you'll join me right here at The More You Grow.